John here, guys, and today we're talking about why the Radio Master Boxer packs quite the punch. Radio Master has a new $139.99 release that punches a new category of controller that lives right between budget and premium with several unseen features and innovations. Radio Master has become the leading RC controller option for drone pilots over the last few years. The TX16S is the most widely used radio option for professionals and hobbyists alike. As the line matured, features were added, prices and quality increased, and they introduced lower cost options for pilots or traveling professionals that need to be able to carry on the TX-12 and the Zorro, but inexpensive and smaller options are fantastic. They often come with compromise. The number one being the gimbal or stick throw is different, interrupting that much cultivated muscle memory. This may be the better first radio or the second or travel or backup radio for a lot of beginners, racers, professionals out there. Radio Masters started with the TX16S a few years ago now before they captured all the market share away from FR Sky, but they've made quite a few upgrades. You can see mine is tricked out with the AG01 metal gimbals, with the leather side grips, and with a lot of other accessories on there as well, boosting up the price. The base price of this now is closer to $200. If I wanted to go on a trip and pack something in a carry-on that took up way less space than my custom full-size radio, you can see how much smaller this thing is in comparison to this full-size one, but the gimbal size is the same. That also means that you can install these metal CNC gimbals onto the boxer. I do like that they've done away with the USB-C door, so it makes it really easy to be able to charge from the bottom or simulate it from the top. The control layout is the same. You still have room for all the same buttons and very nice scroll wheel here. So I did a test on simulator where I went back and forth to several tracks I've already tried. My goal was to see, was I gonna be trading fast times back and forth, getting the same times and I was. That's not to say one is better or worse. It's very hard to tease out if one is better or worse because the more time you fly on a track, the better you're gonna learn it, the more in tune in that session you're gonna be and the faster your lap times are going to get. So I wasn't expecting one to be vastly different than the other. The main thing was could I fly them interchangeably and get very similar times and I could. Express LRS built in to this new Radio Master Boxer and a new small antenna means that it has a fantastic footprint. To make it even more portable, Radio Master introduces a strong strap style handle attached with M3 nuts so that you can swap it for a handle if desired. It makes it perfectly level with its flat rear surface so that you can pick it up on the go and you don't have that extra length pushing out the back for a portable solution. The side grips are rubber, but they're removable, so there will likely be other upgrade options such as the leather grips available on the TX16S. While the newest options have premium metal AG01 mini gimbals, if you want every second of stick time to count, the gimbals need to be the same size and the same feel at all times. The Boxer allows you to use full-size gimbals with a small form factor while retaining a full-size battery pack and a full-size JR module bay. That means, yes, that you can swap in some AG01 full-size metal gimbals so that whether this is your first radio and you upgrade later or your second radio that you take on trips, your muscle memory will stay the same. Now, we have to talk about the drama. No doubt the size and shape and feel is similar to the TBS Mambo radio that I reviewed last year. I found myself reviewing that radio wishing for three things. One, full-size gimbals for all the reasons mentioned. Two, Edge TX built in instead of the offshoot Freedom TX, which is still pretty good, but it misses some of the upgrade trail that the Edge TX dev guys are putting in constantly. And three, 
just wishing that it had a more common protocol built in other than Team Black Sheep's tracer that is not that widely used. Express LRS is now the standard for built-in modules and so this gives you all three. Some may say that it's a copy or that it's a clone, but aside from being a similar size and shape, all of the most important things that I wanted in a Mambo now come to fruition with the Boxer. In the same way, I prefer a Zoro over a Tango, but would have missed the Tango's superior ergonomics. I'd prefer a Boxer over the Mambo, but in this case, I actually prefer the Boxer's ergonomics. Radio Master is constantly listening to its community and user base. The cons, the thing that I like the least about it is the switch shoulder buttons. The radio itself is plastic, but it still feels premium aside from these buttons. The shoulder ones feel extra plasticky and the engagement just doesn't feel nice. I personally only use four switches on my radio, so the other larger radios are kind of overkill. I would not use those shoulder buttons for something flight related, but you could easily put something in there like a beeper and it would be totally fine. The button engagement on the Mambo and Tango do feel much better. Just about everything else on the Boxer though feels better on that side. The best thing is not just the gimbal size is the same, but they also place the gimbal distance to be the same width. So your fingers will rest in the same place, your hands will be in the same place, and everything will feel identical. I don't know if I've ever felt I could travel with another radio option before and not given up some control, some muscle memory that I've worked so hard to build, but now I finally can. Bonus! Several games come preloaded. Asteroids, Tetris, and several others. The controls on these premium gimbals mean that you'll get a smoother and nicer control feel even than the most premium game controllers like this $200 Xbox Elite 2 that I used to game with. The price will be only $139.99, putting it perfectly in the middle between the budget smaller offerings of the TX-12 and the Zorro and the intro pricing of the TX-16S2. This truly takes the place of the popular FR Sky QX7S that offered a full-size experience for a budget price, something that we've been without for the last few years, but now it exists again. If I did have to travel, I would take this and I didn't have enough room for my full-size radio and I needed to eliminate some stuff. Now, if you do like the small stick throw, then the TX-12 and the Zorro are the two options and you can have metal gimbals and both of those as well. Now, Lamone said that he wanted five things if he were ever to look at a new radio. Full-size gimbals, very long battery life that lasted a week or more, small form factor, and a few other things. So he can basically get all of those things in this package with the new optional giant battery right here. And a lot of people like the touch color screen on the TX-16S, but it's not really necessary because you're never really looking at this. You set it up a couple of times, then you just pick your settings and fly. And by this having a smaller monochromatic screen, the battery life should last a ton more time. So I think it'll meet his needs and a lot of other people's needs. This may be a radio that people are gonna switch to. For me, it's gonna be a second radio that I'm gonna keep for travel. And for a lot of beginners, I would say go ahead if you can afford it. Now we have a full end-to-end -end line of options from Radio Master. $80 gets you the very beginning TX-12, $120 gets you the Zorro, $140 gets you the Boxer, $200 gets you the TX-16S V2, and if you really want to go all the way up to the max, you can get one for $350 or a super custom one like this or the MCK version that's $550 to $600. So you have options now throughout the entire range, which one is better for you. There is no best, guys. It's what meets your needs. Some may call it a copy or a clone. You can call it that, but if it exceeds the original that may have have inspired it by such a margin, then what do you call it? For me, this release is definitely a knockout.